Hey, it's Ruffian, and I'm sorry if you can hear a little bit of background noise. My neighbors are doing some yard work, but I really need to film this video. Um, so today I'm going to be reviewing this month's uh, Stablemate Collector's Club horse. Um, I believe his name was Sylvester, and you were able to order him at the beginning of May and possibly back in April. So it's kind of late, but I kind of wanted to show you guys what he looked like. So, first of all, he comes in this blue bag, which is actually really good for, like, traveling if you're going to shows and whatever, because it's really, uh, smooth, and it won't damage the horse at all, and, um, the horse comes in this bag, packaged in lots of bubble wrap, but I've already taken the horse out, so you'll just see what the horse looks like. So this is what the horse looks like. It is on the G3 Jumping Horse mold. Um, I probably didn't get the mold name right, but I'm pretty sure it's a G3. And um, he's a dapple rose gray, and um, he's finished in gloss, and I have a weak spot for glossy staple mates, so I, so he kind of appealed to me, I guess. But because he's dappled, um, there's a lot of variation between models, and on this one, the dapples are fairly large in proportion to the body, which kind of makes me apprehensive about showing him, and there are also some spots where there aren't dappling, or the dappling is considerably fainter than um, other spots. So um, each horse is going to be really different, and I've seen some with really dark dapples and some with really light dapples, so with this horse you're not really sure what you're going to get. This is the other side. You can um, On this side you can see a little bit more of the rose gray because there's more brown tones in his tail and on his back feet. And unfortunately mine did come with a black dot on the neck, but I didn't see that as a flaw um, big enough for me to send back, and Bri Briar probably would not have sent me another one just because there was one tiny black mark on his neck. But um, you can still kind of see that there's quite a difference in dappling on each side. Um, this one, uh, the dapples are smaller, and they're slightly darker than on the other side. Um, I will probably put like... A comparison on the screen of each of the sides so you guys can see how the dapples are different. And I know, at least in my region, um, this mold often doesn't show very well just because it has a small head in proportion to the body and it's very difficult to find a breed that fits it. So um, this horse I wouldn't really recommend to show. I'd recommend it more for like if you had a conga, or if you do, like, stablemate photography, or if you just want a really nice shelf model. Um, but that's kind of unfortunate because you do have to pay $30 for this horse. I don't know if he was really worth the $30. He's very pretty, and I do have a sp soft spot for glossies, but unfortunately, I'm probably not going to be able to show him much. I mean, I'll try him in a few shows, see how he does, and... If you want, I'll keep you guys updated on whether or not he shows well. So this was kind of my review on Sylvester, the uh, Stablemates Club horse. If you guys want to see more reviews like this, leave a comment down below. If you're new to my channel, click subscribe. I post videos every Wednesday. And be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you next week.